Each organ system is crucial to maintaining our lives and completing even the simplest daily activities. The mere wiggle of a finger involves the integumentary, circulatory, muscular, and skeletal systems. One system, however, coordinates all the activities of these other systems, and without it we wouldn't be able to function at all. The nervous system. The nervous system coordinates the activity of the muscles, monitors the organs, processes sensory data, and is involved in every conceivable action. Catching a ball, for example, requires that your brain be instantly informed of the ball's trajectory and shape in order to coordinate the necessary interactions of sight and muscles. In the tips of your fingers, your nervous system can detect a difference of pressure of as little as one half a gram, which is about the weight of the head of a pin, and a difference in temperature of as little as one degree Celsius, or about two degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, the nervous system is responsible for my ability to breathe and speak these words, and your ability to hear and understand them. The nervous system consists of two types of cells, neurons and neuroglia. Neurons are the primary cells of the nervous system. Neuroglia are secondary cells involved in nourishment and structural support. What neurons actually do is transmit signals very, very rapidly. This is accomplished in two ways, within the neuron itself and between neurons. A typical neuron is composed of a cell body, dendrites, and axons. The dendrites carry impulses towards the cell body. The axons transmit them away from the cell body. The contact between one neuron's axon and another neuron's dendrites is called a synapse. You can see how an impulse is transmitted from one nerve cell to another. The central nervous system consists of the brain and spinal cord. Weighing about three pounds and roughly the size of a coconut, the brain, also called the encephalon, fills the top half of the head and is the largest and most complex mass of nerve tissue in the body. Composed of multiple interacting parts, the brain regulates widely different bodily functions from involuntary processes like blood pressure, balance, and appetite, to voluntary processes like walking, thinking, and feeling. The cerebrum is by far the largest of these parts, accounting for two-thirds of the brain's size. It is divided in halves, called the left and right hemispheres, which are each further subdivided into four regions, or lobes. As we have seen, the nervous system as a hand, so to speak, in almost everything we do, whether we are conscious of it or not. The nervous system also makes possible those activities which we most closely identify with our very sense of self. Memory, thought, emotion, speech. Some of the most recent attempts to create artificial intelligence have yoked together multiple computers to use as many as a billion processing units each processing unit simulating one neuron. But the ancient, ordinary human brain with billions of neurons is still many times more powerful than the best artificial intelligence yet developed. Just think about that.